It's the beginning of the most expensive time of the year. Let it begin. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to one of my favorite videos that I film all year long and that is my Lush Halloween range haul video. I'm so excited about all of these products that I picked up. Did I pick up the entire range? No, no I did not because it probably would have cost me another 100 to $150 that I did not want to spend on a bunch of products because the Halloween range this year was insane. It almost kind of felt like a Christmas release because there were so many products that they came out with this year. I'm excited about every single one of them, but I did not pick them all up. I'm here to share with you guys what I did pick up. I have both of the shower gels, the lip scrub, and then a bunch of bath products. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be reading ingredients and everything off of my phone. Also, do you like my new phone case? Look at the little baby dinos. I can't. They're so cute. First product that we're going to be talking about is the Lord of Misrule shower gel. This is a cult classic and one that they bring out every single year for Halloween. It's such a fall scent in my opinion and I think in a lot of people's opinions like it kind of just screams this time of the year for a lot of Lushies. And it's just as good as it always is. It's black pepper, vanilla, and patchouli so it has like a spicy warm kind of scent with like a bit of sweetness but it's just perfect for this time of the year and like I said it's one of my favorites I'm absolutely obsessed with this smell and I'm really excited that they brought it back again of course they had to otherwise there probably would have been an uprising with every single person that uses Lush. <laughs> All right, next is the second shower gel that they brought out for this year, and that is the Blood Orange Shower Gel. This one is brand new to the range, and I don't think they've ever come out with anything with Blood Orange in it, but this one has bergamot, Devana oil, and organic Blood Orange oil. So I didn't even know that Blood Orange had oil, but let's go ahead and sniff it. I have a feeling it's gonna be nice and citrusy, which is not typically what I go for during this time of the year. However, it is kind of nice when you are getting all of these like warm, sweet kind of smells to get something a bit more fresh. Oh, that is so good. I love that. It is very, very citrusy. It's not like too sweet, but it's also not too like sour smelling. It's like the perfect balance. I love that, that's delicious. Super happy that they brought that out and also like, I love blood oranges. So this, I thought I was going to love it, but I might need bigger bottles of both of these shower gels. <laughs> I put myself into a pickle. All right, lastly, before we get into all of the bath products, I did pick up the new lip scrub for this year, which is the Vampire Kisses Lip Scrub. And I'm really excited about this one because on the website, it says that it is a sour grape flavor. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like a sour grape candy. I don't know which one though. I can't place it. If you know what sour grape candy we have here in the U.S., please let me know because it smells exactly like that. I just can't think of the name right now, but let's go ahead and taste it too. That's good. That is good. I have to say, one of the things that I look for with the Lush Lip Scrubs is that they actually taste good because inevitably it's going to get into your mouth. I'm not the person that like licks my lip scrub off of my lips after I'm done scrubbing my lips with the product. But if it does get into my mouth, I do want it to taste good. I want it to smell good. And I'm really glad that this one does. So highly recommend if you guys haven't picked this up and you guys want to try it. I think it's definitely worth it. The lip scrubs are really expensive for what they are, but I feel like you don't need that much product during each use. And you also don't have to use it every single day. So I feel like it is kind of worth the money, you know? So yeah, love that one. All right, let's go ahead and talk bath products. And I'm going to try to kind of create bath cocktails with you guys right now based on scents. So I'm gonna talk about one bath bomb and one bubble bar. Cause I did try to purchase like four of each type. So four bath bombs and four bubble bars so that I could kind of pair these things together and kind of create a nice bath cocktail. So, I'm gonna try to do that, but the first bath cocktail I think was like a given the second that I saw 
what the scent of the bubble bar was and that is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb and the Labyrinth bubble bar. Both of these are Lord of Misrule scent so I feel like you have to have them together. Plus this is the original Lord of Misrule design. If you guys remember last year they came out with one that was like blue and yellow with like spots on it and I think it was more realistic to what the actual like Lord of Misrule character war or something like that. I'm not entirely sure about like where the namesake for this bath bomb came from, but it, I guess it pertained more to where the namesake was from. But this is the original design. I'm assuming it has the same design as it did last time where it's green on the outside and like a blood red in the middle, which I think is gonna look really nice with this labyrinth bubble bar, which like I said, is also the Lord of Misrule smell. So if you put these two together, it's not really gonna change the color of your bath water very much if this one is the original design with the blood red center. So very excited about these. Like I said with the Lord of Misrule shower gel, it is black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla. So you have that spicy warm with a bit of sweetness scent to it. And they both smell exactly the same and I cannot be more happy about that. I'm really obsessed with this little combination and I think the Labyrinth Bubble Bar looks really cool. It's got like that shimmery top to it and it does look like a little maze on it, which is super fun. So very excited to combine these in the tub. All right, I think the next bath combo that I'm gonna create is going to be the I Want My Mummy bath bomb. Look at him, he is so freaking cute, just all in his little wrappings, just living his best life. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna have a real hard time putting this in the bath water and watching him dissolve away, but this one has like a warm caramel scent, I guess. And I do smell that. It's very light, it's not super overpowering, which I appreciate, but I do enjoy this one. And I think it'll go well with the, I can't remember the name of this one ever. It is the Bubble Lugosi Bubble Bar. So it's like a little vampire bubble bar. First off, I think they'll go well because of the colorings. Like this isn't too much color, but it'll add a little bit with like the purple from his, you know, head piece and also maybe a little bit from the fangs but probably more from the purple but this one is supposed to be blackberry scented and i do smell that a little bit but it is very very light and i think they'll go pretty well together as far as smells go so I think that's the bath combo that I'm gonna do with these two. I'm excited to see what this one looks like and smells like. I know it's kind of odd to kind of put like a caramel and a blackberry scent together, but they're both so light in fragrance that I don't feel like it's gonna be really weird or smell odd in the bathtub. All right, so I think the next bath pairing that I'm going to do is going to be the Screamo bath bomb. I think they brought this one out last year, but it was a bubble bar and I think it was on a stick. So it was like one of those reusable bubble bar situations. And this one smells very similar to the way that it did last year. So it has like that nuttiness from the almond oil that's in here, but also a bit of like a cherry kind of smell. So a bit fruity. And I thought because this one, which is the Cyclops bath bomb, he's missing the very top of his little noggin. But this one has sweet wild orange oil and buchu oil in it. And it's supposed to smell like passion fruit. Ooh, and it does. Smells very fruity, but I feel like because of the fruity notes in both of these, they'll go really well together. And the colors I think will be really cool together too because of the blue on here and the pink on here, it might turn it turn the water to be like a purple. Yeah, that'll go really well. So the Screamo bath bomb and the Cyclops bubble bar. All right, and lastly, unfortunately I'm actually missing a product and I just realized it like not two minutes ago, but it was the Bigfoot bath bomb. I'll pop a picture up for you guys right here. This one has lime oil in it, so I'm assuming that it was going to be super like citrusy kind of smelling, and I wanted to pair it with the Alien bubble bar, which they actually sent me two of. So maybe that's where the disconnect happened, but I thought this one would go well with it because this one has bergamot oil in it, and it's also a very citrusy and like bright kind of smell. So I think that'll be really nice. I'm not entirely sure about the water though, because I have a feeling with the Bigfoot bath bomb, because it's blue and pink, the water would go more purple. And then adding green, it'll probably be like brown. 
but I feel like the scent would be great. So I'm kind of willing to risk it. And I do really like this one. That is going to be my last bath combo when I get that bath bomb. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did not get a whole lot from the range, but to be honest with you, the prices this year have skyrocketed. Like I actually went like on a rampage with my friend Melody about it because like they came out with the Lord of Misrule uh, body spray stuff, $42 for that. The Lord of Misrule bath bomb, $8.25 sorry so i put myself on a budget for each of the ranges so this one and also for the christmas range whenever that one comes out so unfortunately i'm not going to be getting as much as i did in previous years but that's just because i buy this stuff with my own money and i don't really want to spend that much money on bath products so i'm really sorry about it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless let me know your favorite product if you picked any up from this range or if you haven't, what your favorite product probably would be if you picked up anything from this range. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.